So I've mixed up on the palette a couple of oil colours. So I've got Cobra Water Mixable Prussian Blue. I've got a Winsor Newton Artisan Water Mixable Burnt Sienna. And I've got a Cobra Water Mixable Titanium White. And the thing with these, where they are water mixable, is I can mix them with water. So I'm just going to show you. So if I just picked up some of the blue and put them straight on my paper, scrape them on. So I'm using the flat the palette knife there. I can use, I don't have paint on it. When I've got more paint on, I can scrape into him. I'm going to use a clean palette knife and I'm just going to put a bit of the and away the burnt sienna down. So depending how thickly I put that on as to whether you can see the paper showing through or not. Because they're water mixable I can actually squirt them with water and I can then it becomes almost like a watercolour and in fact if you use a lot of water you can use a lot before the paint breaks down you can get some really lovely effects. Unlike watercolour, of course, the paint will not fade. Um, it will stay that colour even under sunlight. And I can scrape, scrape into this. Fix that back. These two colours, interestingly, make the most beautiful dark. So if I mix a little bit off the Prussian blue, a little bit of the burnt sienna together. It makes this really gorgeous dark, which if I was then to wet it, would actually begin to separate them out. The paper that I'm using here today is a textured paper. So I'm using this Georgian oil painting paper, which has got a, a sort of slightly canvassy texture to it. If I was to come in then with some white, I can bring some of those colours together. So this is just using the flat of my palette knife. And you can see already some of the lovely textures that I'm being able to create working in this way. Burnt Sienna and Prussian Blue are just the most gorgeous combination. <laughs> 